Welcome back to the violent end of, well, the aftermath, really, of the violent end of Duncan Albain. Uh, just here in his bedroom, completely unsuspiciously, waiting for his wife to come out of her bedroom and head through there. Just realized I never actually looked up at the ceiling here in case there was anything of note, but... Looks, seems clear. All right. Is there anything in here? Quick, quick look. Oh God! All bright in here too. Right. Let's read her note here. Bolts. I should write that down. Two five zero eight. You know what, Garrett? You really should. That actually means we can get in here now. Take the loot, what's the letter? Dear Elizabeth, my deepest condolences on the death of your husband. It is with the greatest regret that I shall be unable to attend the funeral. The weight of my responsibilities is hardest to bear at such times, but rest assured my thoughts are with you. On that other matter, I must certainly concur with your general opinion of Mr. DeWitt. He has a smattering of talent, but it's undermined by the sheer weight of his ego. You should have heard him on Tuesday night after the premiere. To listen to his boasts, one would think he has sung all the parts and played all the instruments in the orchestra himself. Yours with deepest sympathy, Aurelius Stibbings. Right, she will turn the lights on in here, I'm quite sure. Means I really need to know where a relatively safe spot is. There isn't one. Shit. That's her coming now. Well, this place. Oh, this is Duncan's bedroom. Duncan's bedroom is pretty safe. I can watch and see if she turns the lights back on. Just great. Can somebody fix this torch? Let me know what's going on. Never a clue of anything. All right, so we're heading around to the north, right? Well, we haven't been to the lower part of the armor gallery. We were heading around north. On the second floor here, to the library. Oh, there isn't there isn't a way through. There is a way north from here. All right, well let's check out the armor gallery. Or not? Hang on, I thought I'd turned them off. I oh, know I haven't turned off any on this floor. All right, let's not go that way. Um, let's be cautious here then. Let's go back to the roof. I haven't double security yet on this floor. And it's not really safe to wander around every which way. <laughs> but it's on the roof. We can hopefully find a way in, and we are generally at much less risk. Danger. He says. Looking at the guards, wandering here. Is that you? I mean it is me. Well, seems clear. Is that the old tower again? That's the old tower again. Okay, we're just back here. Well, I guess we know how to get down to the next floor. Come on, Garrett. Quietly now. the wind. Oh, 
That was a close call, is what that was. Okay, so we can throw some more cards in here. Book of... Wait, Book of Clubs. I didn't even read the Book of Clubs. The first in prison, dark and cold, where men did rot in times of old. On a pipe, the second placement, in a closet in the basement. The third looks down from up on high and sees each banquet passing by. You'll find the fourth is very near, the cask that holds my favourite year. The fifth you may aspire by chance, if you should partake of a dance. The sixth is in a lofty spot, leaning upon a chimney pot. From in the water, calm and cool, you'll find the seventh by the pool. Your coat must hang upon a hook to find the eighth within a nook. If for the ninth you should aspire, then peek behind the library fire. Observe the sun rise from a bench, if you should seek to find the tenth. The red-robed father's smiting arm will keep young Jack from any harm. If you would make the queen your prize, beneath the oldest stair she lies. A king is raised above the court, where he can see the clock's report. Okay, so the... That's good to know. So the Book of Clubs is telling me where all the clubs are to be found. Ah, there's diamonds. We have a jack of diamonds. Six of clubs. Is that it for now? Yeah. Okay, so we're not going to have to hunt. If we can find the same books. Uh, the corresponding books for the other suits. Then we're not going to have to hunt everywhere for the cards. We can just like use the hints. That's very nice. I was I was fully expecting to have to search this place exhaustively. Okay, where are we going here? I want to go. Well, let's go east into the under the renovation part since I didn't manage to get there, and it looks like a dead end. If it's under renovation, there shouldn't really be guards wandering around, right? Howard, Lord Cedric Boxstead will be arriving upon the morrow. He will need accommodation, but only the rooms, but the only rooms are the ones Duncan was refurbishing. With half the floor missing, the larger room is out of the question. Therefore, please ensure that all the junk is moved out of the small room, and it is made fit for Lord Boxstead to stay in. Cedric is a dear old friend of Duncan's, and I will not have him disrespected while under my roof. Speak to Captain Harkwell and engage some of the guard staff to help you if need be. Be it so ordered. Lady Elizabeth Malvain. Lord well, Cedric Buxted then. Hey, I know who this guy is. He's clearly our uh, the person who hired us. Uh, at least twenty two hundred for yourself. Um, that's not right. We haven't stashed our thousand yet. Okay, so we, uh, your employee let slip, he'll be arriving at the house tomorrow, try to find out who hired you, and we now know who it was. Very well. Okay, let's look out onto the roof. Oh, hello. Suspicious looking. Oh, it's a balcony, it's purely for this room, that's very... Very generous to the guests when, uh... Lord Duncan himself doesn't have a balcony, although he has a ladder to the roof, but it's not exactly, uh, wasn't. Hello. Ten of hearts. Nice. Oh wow, the wallpaper curling back, hanging loose at the bottom. Lots of attention to detail here, it's a very... Very cool. And yes, the larger room has uh, very little in the way of, app of functional floor right now. Oh, he's got a stair. I guess that goes up into one of the towers here. Whoops. 
your sister a little clunky to climb. Steps are too high. Right, this must be the north east tower, yeah. Right, so let's on to where we were. Jump through a ladder. <sighs> hmm. The gap above those? No, there is not. Is someone there? Nay. Do you have another apple for me? Have more players. The scouting orb, okay. I feel like the scouting orb is not a piece of equipment I really have a good use for, but it'd be handy to have. It's one of the things, it's like, uh, use them a little bit. One of those brand new to leave too, and then basically never again. Alright, I guess we're not going to find anything else in here in this area. Um, balcony isn't on the other map, although we have been there. There's a potential cavity there. Uh, I mean, look at that angle. Okay, but it's just the thick walls of the old tower. But there was this highly suspicious vent. It's a door. <laughs> Lean against it and hear through it. So, there's a way to open that, but I don't know what it is, okay. That might not be out here. Hmm. We have a light switch in here that works. on top of the wardrobe already. Nobody's just left anything in a barrel, have they? Behind the door. Behind the door is where we found the card. It might be uh, that's an exit from somewhere that's only accessible from in the uh, old tower there. Would not be unreasonable. There's a guard who wanders around here. <laughs> this must be the priest room, right? It's Mark A, Bob Turton. Indeed it is Mark. Dear Father Turton, your summon on Tuesday night's even song meant a great deal to me. I must admit my faith was shaken when my wife was taken from me. She succumbed to consumption this last winter, and I felt like all was lost. Your words rekindled the hope in me that her passing was all in the Builder's great plan, and that she has taken her place by his side. You have given me the strength to face this tribulation, and I hope I shall continue to serve him with grace and piety. Yours gratefully, Randolph Dorrit. Now that does not seem suspicious. Hammer, hammer, hammer. June 2nd. The builder shall lay before us trials. Trials of faith to prove our worthiness. This I know. Yet it hath been most difficult these recent months. The heretics grow in number each day. And worse, their false pre preachings do lure men who would otherwise have stayed true to the builder's teachings. Now even a man I believed above such foolishness hath succumbed to what is fashionable, not what is right. 
Lord Duncan Melvain hath defiled his own house. Blasphemous icons now sit in his once holy chapel. And the mechanist contraptions fill his halls. I have made the journey to his house in the city in order that I might try to convince him of the error of his ways. Builder, give me the patience I shall need to speak calmly to him and not smite him righteously where he stands. In the theater. What the hell? Can you do that just to turn the fucking lights on in somebody else's bedroom? Piece of shit guard. Give me a heart attack too. Uh, I want to see if he does it again. I mean... Oh, where were we? Okay, it's to the wrong floor again. Ah, uh, we're here. So the guard is wandering this hallway. Okay, so we can skip the, skip the guard. But he might also... Ah, uh, he's not going to patrol through somebody's bedroom, right? Would be ridiculous. <laughs> uh, I see. They have a radial stim. He turned on the light switch through the wall. What a what an utter bastard. Ah uh, yes. If you want to have a stim on a light switch, you need to actually make sure it's sits out in front of it, so it's not, doesn't activate guards through the walls. Oh well, it's fine. I'm gonna believe this place is haunted. Hello, I don't think I want to go now. This is a library. Hmm. It's far too bright in here. All right. So we have a guard wandering the library here. Yeah, I almost went into that room where the watcher is still active. On the upper floor of the library, thank you very much. Why do these have stars in them? Is that just to say it's a staircase? Maybe. Rather not. Someone there. All right. So I think he came in that door. I think someone also goes through this door. Ah. There's a nice dark patch. Hello. Aha, that was that was a fortunate discovery, wasn't it? With people, library people. Uh, and and I got stuck there, I guess there's a Ah, the grate is not fully solid. Here we got. Let me see page ten. There's that squeak again. Fuck! Help me again! Yeah. Oof. Sex, that squeak again, he says. 
Oh my god. Oh. I hate scary stuff, guys. I didn't, you didn't tell me this was a scary mission. Ah. Alright. I opened the vaults the morning after I had first locked the idol away within. To my horror, the switch appeared to have come loose and it had shifted into its abominable, leering, eldritch shape. I quickly shifted it back to its more palatable formation and ensured the locking clasp was in place. I began to hear that quiet squeaking as of metal sliding on metal whenever I was alone in a quiet part of the house, and the feeling of being watched became ever more prevalent. I felt that a dark shape was always just out of sight at the corner of my vision. And each day when I ventured down to the vault, I would find the idol stood upon its pedestal where I had left it, but always back into the horrifying shape that makes my skin crawl and my eyes water. I stopped visiting the vault, left the thing locked away deep beneath the house, but still I heard those faint metal noises. Yeah, I hear them too. They're, uh... Okay, that's just a switch for the door. They're not fun noises, and, uh... Other unfun things come with them. I wonder if I can... Did that lose my rope? Dude, let's, let's reload that rope. Quick seven, quick load. Same's coming for ropes, fine. Hello, there's a bone down there. That's disconcerting, isn't it? Mr. Obish is leaving. Gives me the opportunity to quickly scour the rest of the library here for uh, possible things, although probably nothing, right? It works both ways. Shouldn't have turned the light out now, I can't see. Guess it'll let me know when he's coming. Oh, yes, that squeak. Five of hearts. I just was trying to rob books, and it turned out it was uh, something else horrible there. So I guess I should make a note that we found the five of hearts up here. Um, although, if we can find the book of hearts, then should be okay. This is a nice corner. The lights, the lights are in default positions. I shouldn't have to knock anybody out here. <sighs> so where is he going? There's... Oh, we haven't done the watches on this floor, so I can explore this level of the library. But I should. Although well, the security room is right there, actually, this might be the right opportunity. I'll wait till the guard comes back. Listen to what he's doing, right? Sounds like a metal door just opened and closed. I think he went in the security room. Let's see, let's wait a little bit and, and see. Can't really play cards right now while I'm waiting because I've only got what one, two, and a five hearts. So you know what? I should have kept them all instead of putting them on the things. I should have kept them, kept them all and actually played a game of solitaire. I guess I couldn't. I always know what they are. Can't turn them upside down. I don't think I can even drop them upside down, right? If I drop it. It seems to always land face up. 
Okay. If the guard did go and secure you, he's hanging out there for quite a long time. There's a metal door. Hmm. Our security room has... does have two doors. Lol, there's also a... clearly a little room mark there. I'll have to check that out. I feel like he's coming back this way again. Maybe not. Yeah, yeah, this is the same guy. I guess maybe somebody goes the other way through the security room? Alerts it because of the noise of the watcher. Ah! Who are you? You see me. <laughs> Not sure how he saw me. Pretty dark, but uh you know what, let's put him on the other side of the stairs here. <coughs> Nobody seems to patrol in this room. <coughs> Alright. Should be pretty safe. Pretty safe spot for him. Leaving me relatively free to explore the library. Ah, oh, hello. The Big Book of Common Poisons. Deadly Nightshade. Black can cause a number of symptoms including blurred vision, loss of balance, confusion and convulsions before causing the victim's heart to fail. Water Hemlock. Ingestion of Water Hemlock can kill in as little as 15 minutes. Initial symptoms of vomiting, shortness of breath, dizziness, stomach pain and diarrhea and the victim will then suffer convulsions, organ failure and difficulty breathing before falling into a coma and dying. Wolfsbane. Swallowing Wolfsbane can cause death within 1-6 to six hours depending on the dosage. Symptoms include numbness and burning and tingling sensations, followed by a state of nervous excitement and finally heart irregularities causing death. Well, we don't have any indication of symptoms, right? Let's make a note. Uh, book of Poisons. Poison book. So we're kind of short on space. Poison book not in the uh, name of the rose sense. Hello. But uh, you do have some valuable first editions in here. That's the upstairs guard. You could still potentially see us down here. Another big solid area. I'm sure there's another secret door there. Hello? God, it's surprisingly bright in here. Let me look how bright it is. That's, that's light radius, probably. Because the guy upstairs saw me, because apparently it was absolute red dot brightness in that little alcove. 
which I was not expecting. I don't think he knows we came over here, so it should be fine. Just to wait. Yeah, he's given up. But he'll still be on alert for a while, so it's not... It's not, uh... Just because he says I don't see anything now does not mean he's back to level 1 alert. Well, I mean, he's not level 1 alert. The problem is, like, awareness and alertness are two different things. And they're both, they're both analog. When they, when they spike up high, they can take some time to die down again. Young sheep. How to deal with insomnia. Seems to be working. It's be a soporific book. Oh, that's right. We want to go... This didn't seem to do anything likewise. It's still just as bright. Marginally looks. Okay. It's giving us some darkness. Hello? A book of diamonds. The first atop you know what? I'll I'll read this later. We'll 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 get the security systems dealt with. Actually, what what am I talking about? Why? Hello. I think here we have our secret door. Probably. This side of the other, there's gotta be another one, right? Okay, it's darker here. It's definitely darker here now. Maybe there is not a second, another one? So I was going to say, we can go deal with the security, security room here. I don't know if it's safe in here, but... Uh, well, this is the same notice we've already seen, right? Did hear other footsteps, so that we'll at least hear somebody coming. Hmm. Wonder what that noise was. These things burn out faster than they used to. Where's those flash bombs? Nope. Ugh. Yeah. Getting caught quite a lot more than I like to. Fine. Fine. We'll hear him coming, he says, and uh, I should have I should have kept the door open and just stayed behind the door, because he would not have seen me there. Alright, now I can't see a damn thing, so let's send the light back on us. I thought I saw something up there, but now I guess it's just a wall. That's a thing. Uh, I am playing cards. Theatre does know there's crime scene. I think we've read all these. Mechanical watches, right? Okay, so on this floor, let's turn up number one. And, uh, which makes those two passages relatively safe. We can come and explore this section. And... We have not done that room, so let's turn off three and four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if we do six, three, and four. Six, three, four. Can we do one more? Can I also turn off number five? Let's find out. No. One, six, three, four. Well, you know what? Six is the wrong one. Let's do five instead. 
At least the front hallway inaccessible. But it means the rest of the place is uh, it's free for us to, to muck about in. Alright, so checking them out once more. So if I head south, we can't really go safely that way. How bright is it here? Can we just take a peek? We can take a peek. There's the alarm light. I'm not really happy with leaving this guy here. Because I don't know if anybody else patrols this way and might turn the lights on. So let's take him back to the library. Well, we know we have some dark corners. Well, so this stairwell particularly is... Uh... It's a pretty good dark corner, I think. Very good dark corner. Alright. It's hard to get around. It doesn't matter. So, I was going to say now we can explore this floor, but you know what? We have the vault curve, right? We could go to the vault. This vault, not the old vault. The old vault where the idol is, the new vault where the security stuff is. And the actual gem we're after. Um, what's the easiest way to get there? Head down this way, I suppose? Oh, I guess, I guess let's go around, let's go around. Alright, this is the old tower again, right? Just on a floor we haven't been in. South is to... Theodore's room. <laughs> yeah, Freddy's sleeping with the lights on. Another banner. I wonder if that one is also a secret passage. I don't think I dare hit it with my sword because it might wake him up. City Watch Shift. Rota. Hospital Theodore Melvin. Tuesday. Oh, when was. When was the guy killed? Wednesday? Shift cancelled? Emergency leave? Only for Saturday, shift cancelled. Funeral leave. Adjustment reason. Emergency leave. Signed by Mosley. Let's keep relatively quiet here. He's got another hairbrush. I don't think I'm gonna pull the uh, the bell. Oh, he's got a ring. A Malvin family signet ring, given only to Lord Malvin's direct descendants on the male line. Ah, uh, Theodore has the signet ring. Let's make a note. in here. Alright, so we want to go east. And B is somebody else's room. Is Isabel. Oh, she's the, she's the hammering. Oh, she's got lots of dolls. That's very cute. It's a very mechanist uh, ballerina, though. That's very cute. I like it. Nice bit of scripting. Who's Isabel? Where's my Where's my list of 
suspects. Isabel, Raymond and Lucy, so granddaughter of Duncan. Young daughter sent away. Right, so her bedroom is empty. Although he sent away, why did somebody light a fire? And does she have a card hidden in her room? Who knows, right? Once you get all the watches permanently turned off, then I'll start, then I'll do... And I guess... Hmm... We should do book by book, right? What room is this? Hello? What? Playroom. Okay. Again, somebody lit a fire. Some lights on here. You have a model hammer train. That's that's amazing. I love it. I love it. What's the sign on the Little Hammerite, my first gold mine. Teeps a children of honest toil. Containeth three mine carts, sixteen track pieces, three scenery rocks, and minor figures sell separately. Ah, that's amazing. That's I love it. That's very cool. Alright, but it does, does not contain us any playing cards. So it feels like we have nothing more to do in this room. Oh, there's a very good room to uh, hide in. Where? Keep going round. It's a study. Well, the guards should not come into the study, right? That's that's a uh, private room. Father, I beg you to do what you can to aid dear Francis. Surely it cannot have escaped your notice that my dear sister has become quite dependent on illegal opiates. I fear for her health, and I fear for her immortal soul, for is it not said that to seek earthly pleasures is to deny the pleasures of the builder's paradise? I also suspect her husband, that low-life victor, of enabling her behaviour, either through complicity or neglect. I have tried to speak to her, sister to sister, but she will not listen to me and names me as a fierce preacher, as if it were an accusation. Perhaps a stern voice of reason from her father will snap her out of it. Ever your loving daughter, Darcy. Oh, small bit of coin stashed away there. Really need to go back to the sewers and grab that sack as well, but I don't know yet who to frame, and I certainly don't know who uh, was the murderer. Hello? But a book of hearts is quite welcome. Alright. We'll, uh, when we get the fourth book, we'll go turn the vault off. Turn... He's, there isn't, no, he's just not walking. We'll go turn all the vaults, all the watches off. From the vault. And then... Just because I've been here only a few months. When we finish that... Um... I'll show them someday. Then we'll start looking for all the cards. We'll be, we'll be assistant about looking for all the cards. Not the way I want him to have gone. Dear Gertie, thank you so much for continuing to look after my little darling, Isabel. She is too young to understand the situation with her grandfather, and it would be best to wait to best to wait to explain until after the funeral, when all the hangers on have departed and the City Watch have stopped their blundering about the place. Do let me know if she needs any of her toys, and I shall send a servant to bring them to her. Yours faithfully, Lucy Melvin. You know what? I don't know where this guard hangs out. It's not really dark enough here. Can I turn off the lamp? Good. If I sit here and watch and wait, we can see where he stands and decide if that gives us access through that door. I mean, maybe I should have gone in after him because he probably has a longish patrol route, but... I did not, and now, now it would surely be hazardous, right? 
could already be too hazardous to do this. Maybe not. Wait, that's ladies. Ladies bit of this. Alright, well, I know, I know where we are. I don't know which is where the guard went. Okay. Perfectly fine. So the, he's going into the this room here, which I want to explore. And then we need this, the lower level. Oh. See how we got it. There's nobody this here. Quiet enough now. You know this house, it's pretty haunted, right? This creepy figure we see everywhere. Thought you've seen him too. What is the room below us? Pool room. Okay. Yeah, but that means I have to move quietly through here. the armor gallery. Also very noisy. Not very dark. Well, we do have dark spots. Okay, so here is where we have all the portraits of everybody. And some of them are already lit up. Duncan Malvane! Kills himself. Very lifelike portraits. I could swear that you know that one's looking at me. Uh, I want to see if the guard comes in. I know Lady Melvane does. That's Lady Melvane. I like the use of the textures here on these arches. It's very cool. Overall, I think the architecture of this place is amazing. Um, this is the same author as Malazar's Inscrutable Tower, but uh, I think this mission is way better done. I mean, probably took a heck of a lot longer. Malazar's is like a confusing gallery of interesting set pieces, but it doesn't hold together in any consistent way, whereas this one I think the entire concept... I mean, it's not the first mission to do a murder mystery, right? I don't think. But... Certainly not the first mission to do a haunted man mansion. But, um... The concept works, it works really well. The layout and architecture and design of the place is, is really, really good. And, uh, it's an excellent reason to be sneaking through the ceiling loop. And I absolutely adore this objective. I, again, I, I wish that had been the purpose of the entire loot goal, because this isn't a campaign. We don't need to save loot for the next mission. So it would have been great if, you know, steal at least X amount of loot, and then put all the loot in and frame somebody before you go. Although I suppose... You might have found loot after framing them, but I don't know. The, the extra, the excess would just be excess, right? To reach the maximum. We could have done that. Having two loot goals is a little, is a little. Well, not too far off. Thirty-two hundred is enough for both of us. She's left. It doesn't seem like uh, anybody else comes in here. Hey, suits of armor, none of you guys are going to attack me. Is that a bucket on your head? None of you are going to come to life and fight me, are you? Hello. Oh, that's the late Lord Duncan Malvine. The undertakers have cleaned him up for the funeral, and there is little to be discerned from the corpse. Does it make sense he's lying in state here? What is this? 
big red button is probably the alarm, right? You should not push it. Beast Bane. I mean, you're tempting me, right? <laughs> Can I relock it? Can I close it? Hide the evidence? No, I can't. Apologies, I just sneezed. Okay, so I want to get back up to the vault controls. You know what? It's actually a good place to do it from. There's that western door as well. Oh, that must be upstairs. Oh, that's that's the, that's the next room. That's above the pool room. Guess that's probably just a balcony. He does not go into the gallery. I don't think, unless he does after this, but it makes sense he's keeping an eye on the on the body, making sure nobody disturbs it. Oh, he almost gave me a heart attack then. When they do their little pirouettes. What the stairs down? Where did you come from? Fucking hell! Lady! My god. Guards! There's a thief lurking about! <gasps> there is not. Oh, did she did she come down to Did she hear my footsteps and come down to find the guard or what? Because She was upstairs before. I guess that explains it. She wasn't running, which is weird, but she... When she said guards of the thief looking about, she was talking to the guard because she got close enough to him, right? I think. I don't think she had just seen me right there, so maybe I could have left her alone and... I don't know. Whatever I could have done is not what I have done. So let's deal with what I have done and, uh, and leave it at that for the moment. It's not a good place if the guard comes through, but... Oh, okay, it's the stairwell. All right, stairwell. I'm happy with this stairwell. I'm not happy with. God, this guy is so grumpy. That's my last flash bomb. All right. You saw nothing, and you still see nothing. You don't come down here, right? You just. Wonder. <coughs> oh, maybe you do come down here. <coughs> Hello? Ten of spades. <laughs> Metal Creek. It's now always creeps me out, thank you. Uh, what a mess. What a mess. Okay, I've been knocking out lots of cards. Maybe I should just 
make a point of knocking them all out, but... I don't know, you can... Stay there. And don't like this as a, as a spot for him. Don't really know if anybody else maybe passes through here. Should be fine, right? I'm slightly annoyed that my close calls ended up in me having to knock people out, but uh, whatever. That's why I have the black chat. Not purely decorative, you know? Alright, so where am I going? I get back to the vault. We have the vault code. We can get up to the roof, actually. Let's go upstairs to the arm gallery and up to the roof from there. So this guy isn't just on his way back right now. Cause... Hey, what was that noise? Cause that would suck. Well, this isn't a safe place either, because somebody does come in and out here. Uh, I am... went the wrong way. It's fine. Maybe. Maybe. This is where we got caught before, remember? Alright, well here's the vault. So there should be a rope I can find to get up to the vault controls. I didn't close it. Cut that off. <laughs> very gently here. Electrified floor is off. I know I put down moss, but there is a gap here between the moss bits of moss. So, all right, two five oh eight. You okay there, Mr. Watcher? Oh, the vault is suddenly open. Long. Yeah, let's not push that button, shall we? Okay, this floor is also metal, so we're gonna have to be quiet here. I cannot see a thing. Mark, let's leave it. We can't take that yet, right? Because of the the weight thing. We need something of equal weight to put in its place, or the alarm will go off anyway. But basement cameras, master control. Ground floor cameras, master control. First floor. Second floor. Third floor has no watches. The watch there is just switch, it's switched off now. So there is the good news. We can come in and rob the vault whenever we need to. All right. Unfortunately, the real prize has to wait until we are uh, have figured out how much the stone weighs and what we're going to do about that. But now the watches are off, 
we basically have the run of the house. Up more cars, yes. Do I keep running into? Uh, but this is a good place to end the episode, so thanks so much for watching, and I hope you join me soon for the next one.